am Susan Dennard, author of Something Strange and Deadly, which releases July 24th from Harper Teen. I am coming at you from my office. Something Strange and Deadly tells the tale of Eleanor Fitt, who is a 16-year-old who lives in 1876 Philadelphia. Her family has fallen on hard times, and her mama is determined to marry her off to the wealthiest bachelor she can find. But things get much, much worse when not only do the dead start rising from their graves, but the necromancer responsible kidnaps Eleanor's older brother. Determined to rescue him, Eleanor's only choice is to turn to a ragtag, dead-fighting teen known as the Spirit Hunters. To be perfectly honest, Eleanor has a lot of qualities that I wish I had. Um, she's a great deal braver than I am. She has a lot of grit and that's something that I definitely don't quite have. But she also has some flaws that I, I don't want such as being far too impulsive to the point of stupidity. Um, she's incredibly stubborn as well which oh wait no I'm really stubborn too so I guess we share that and we also like to eat a lot so I think that's one characteristic that we definitely agree on. Because the book was set in 1876 when this exhibition was going on, it required a great deal of research um, and my main method for researching was just to read primary documents so I scoured a lot of guidebooks to Philadelphia written in 1876, people's first-hand accounts from visiting the exhibition, uh, etiquette handbooks train schedules, things like that. I just read a lot of things from 1876 so that I would get a really good feel for what it looked like, how people behaved, how people dressed, and what they ate, and what they did. And even though most of that doesn't even get into the book, I think that I managed to convey the, the main details so that you can get a feel for what it was like in 1876 in Philadelphia. My favorite scene is, without a doubt, chapter 19. Uh, I won't give you too many specifics, but let's just say it happens at a dynamite factory that is on the verge of exploding. It was one of the most fun scenes to write, and it remains one of my favorite scenes to think back on and even reread. So I really hope you all agree and enjoy it when you get to chapter 19. As Eleanor learns, when fighting a zombie, don't forget, always aim for the knees. 